Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Rohit. You're watching Tech Jiggles, and today I'm going to review GeForce Now in India. And today is March 2023, and as of today, uh, GeForce Now is not available in India. But I'm going to show you a workaround that you can do so that you can access GeForce Now in India without a VPN. That's a great thing because VPN using a VPN you can connect to GeForce Now before also. But the thing is that the latency is too high, so it's so hard for you to play the game. It's not literally not playable at all. Uh, but uh, there is a good thing uh, that is. Uh, Singapore server is out there. So in order to connect to Singapore server, you don't need to connect to a VPN uh, So you can directly connect to the Singapore server, but the One issue is that you need to have a paid subscription so I can literally show how the uh, So before that this is I want to prove that I'm not connected to a VPN at all I you can still see that I am I'm connected to uh, an Indian uh, connection. I'm not uh, in a I'm not using so just to prove that uh, I'm not connected to a VPN, here is my uh, location. I'm not uh, I'm not connected to any VPN. But the thing is that uh, if you go to uh, Game Hub Plus, where you can buy a subscription. So there are multiple type of plans. You can go to the plan section, and then uh, you can literally see a uh, different type of subscriptions. Now I am I, I choose the daily uh, day one day one day trial pack but you can choose monthly or annual but i would suggest to try out the day uh, i think i already choose so i don't have that option right now but you will be having one more section here saying that a daily plan where you can select a per day and i think it's around three dollars so uh, i know uh, compared to the monthly price it's too high but at least you can try it out and see whether it's worth or not before uh, spending more money on this thing and once you purchase the the thing then you can simply go to the geforce now app and then you can log out from the current account then uh, try to log in using the star hub username and password and you'll be able to get it and it just automatically sync to your library and all those things it just happen but yeah i just want to show one more thing that is how how the server is performing my settings and all like i'm doing the balance that means it will take like a possible good quality and also it try to have lower latency and this is like i connected to auto which is sg star hub server i can test the network and i can show how how well it is and i'm connected to a local uh, isp uh, and you can see that it's saying that uh, there may be a chance for you to experience shutter and high latency but still if i go to this detail section i can see that uh, my uh, latency is 67 which is it's it's more than recommended but it's uh, less than required that means i can still play the game with uh, uh, like a decent level of latency and also if i look at the package loss which is an important thing which is less than which is zero that means there is no package low so i'm not losing any data in between the bandwidth is uh, i have a pretty good bandwidth recommended one so yeah latency is the only thing and it's also like a 20 uh, plus on that one ms more uh, but yeah now now it's time for me to test out some games and uh, uh, the thing is that you can try out some free games from here uh, and uh, uh, but if you connect to your any of the library for example you connect to steam or uh, uh, epic and or any of this uh, library then then you can access game from there but in my case i can start with the uh, cyberpunk and see how it perform and uh, how it feel i'm going to be very genuine and i'll be uh, telling you guys what's my experience as a player uh, so that you can take a decision uh, and yeah maybe your experience may be better than mine uh, and uh, yeah, it depends upon your internet connection, but at least uh, I am from the southern part of India. Uh, still, I am getting a good uh, ping or the latency compared to it. So maybe if you are connected to a really good, uh, I don't know, some some issue, weird issue with this thing. So let me try one more time. But the thing is that if you are connected to a good internet connection, then you will be having a better uh, better experience. But the thing is that I am connected to a decent internet connection. Still, I am getting good ping and also uh, good. Uh, there is no package loss and the best part is that it's rtx enabled but i don't know whether rtx is going to be that much of a use in this in this one uh, so this is basically a review from my side how the performance 
how the quality what you can expect from geforce now connected to a a Singapore server so yeah yeah first time if you're doing it for first time you obviously you need to uh, sign in using your steam and then you need to sign in using GOG account if you if you bought it from there yeah in my case it's that way but uh, starting out I can see the quality there is like still there is some pixelation which is not that much but still uh, when there's a text or something on the screen I can still see that uh, pixelation on the screen so yeah it is there uh, I am I'm expecting it because it's again not perfect like natively running on my device it's still running on a cloud server my uh, what I consider as a, like a good experience is that when I'm playing in the game uh, the mouse moment also there is a little bit of lag uh, I don't know uh, whether this is like a particular case but I didn't notice this lag before but yeah uh, I can I can choose the settings and I'm just going with the settings that they are providing uh, so yeah I'm just going to open up my save game uh, let's see. and one more good thing about GeForce now hello, one thing hello. I notice is that I'm you can continue Bob, from where you were playing so News. that's one of the New good things so you can continue playing on different devices you can play on your mobile device and you can play on your desktop or maybe you can even play on your own system if you own the game and you have a game so the starting out with the quality bit um, yeah I think it's good really comparatively I have tried different cloud services out of all I think this is uh, one of the best quality thing that I've seen and also the game is running at 63 frames per second I think because everything is so small uh, and uh, it's very responsive that means yeah at this moment I click on the right arrow it's just going in the right direction so that is that is something very native um, that's a really good feel let me try out any of the car because bike it's a little hard for you to see the mouse uh, i'm just i want to stop this car so but the mouse it's good uh, and yeah it's responsive that's really good i i liked it yeah. that's great they still they haven't they haven't uh, improved the ai of let me go the i'll pay um, that's so sad a long time still they have it so you can see that yes the, the car is responding to my uh, mouse arrows but the thing is that I can still see pixels if I just go back to that area where the smoke is coming out uh, you can see that the pixelation there you can see it's still uh, showing up as pixels so I don't think this is an issue with the server or anything but it's more around like the latency or maybe the, the quality or I use the balance for the best performance and that may be an issue. Uh, still it's uh, it's framing right so we can experience some things that and it's motion. But overall the game performance is really good. That means I'm, I don't know the game is still broken guys because the rain is happening in some places and it's not visible in some places. But still, the game is very um, responsive, which I didn't I expect. Do the area. I lost contact with the Delabay network nearby. Let me try out. We'll do. Uh, I wanted to try out the uh, the morning time also. I don't remember. I haven't played it for a long time, so I don't know if there is an option to pass the time. But I'm going to look out for some load uh, save games where I am in the the daytime. Not sure, everything is saved in the night time, it seems. Hmm, that's, that's bad. Uh, fine, that is fine. But the, the, the response of the game is really good compared If you are playing on a portable PC and you are having constant shuttering, then this is an option, this is a good option for you. If you have a good internet connection also, then this is a good option for you. Because you don't, you don't have that, oh, Still the textures are loading later. I think I'm on an RTX device but still the textures are taking some time to load. But the thing is that if you if you are using a product of PC or a low end device, surely you can give this one a try, you can play new games and experience new games. But if you are already on a high end device, I don't think this is a viable option for you because you still feel that lag or like the latency issue. 
uh, because yeah, we didn't expect it unless we have a yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I think the game overall is performing very really well. Maybe I can try out a different game and see how it is performing and the quality of it. Uh, but yeah, I am I'm, I'm fully satisfied with Cyberpunk performance. At least I'm not satisfied with the game, but I'm satisfied with the performance of GeForce Now. Now moving on, let me try out another one, which is going to be, let me see any, any other heavy games. Uh, let's go with the Hitman. Because uh, other games are like online games in my library, at least right now. And it may take some time and also connecting to a server. I, I don't think playing an online game on a cloud is a great option. So uh, maybe, maybe you can, you can consider playing uh, offline games or uh, that that's the uh, or like the story story single player games more uh, rather than playing or uh, online games but yeah i think this is similar experience to the uh, cyberpunk only i can still see the pixelation again the pixelation is because i choose balance option if i choose the uh, the best option from that then sure i won't see the pixelation but there may be some latency or uh, there may they, it may affect the performance of the game so if if you want to play the game if you're on a decent broadband and you want to play the game i would suggest to keep it on balance otherwise you can go with the custom option uh, otherwise if you have a really good internet connection definitely go with the quality option that is going to be the best ex but at least uh, in the in the hitman maybe the colors and the things at least here it looks really good uh, so yeah let me see once it is yeah okay uh yeah let's play the game oh I'm, I'm going with any of this one yeah let me go with yeah man uh, i don't remember i haven't played the game hitman for a long time now so i don't remember how the level or even how how the menus are like but yeah just let me see if i can wow the quality is superb i think the other the game game was having some issues the cyberpunk was the, the, the game itself was not having that quality but our intel indicates that she and her team this looks low. good i Most think but now i'm having that strike. pixelation one so of the it's, it's like sometimes, sometimes if it's just a voice tell says i'm a lord or maybe she's no doubt high on our client's list then you lose good but the starting the quality was really good infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the shadow client so yeah that I think it it all depends on upon your internet connection and also the settings that you are using and the GeForce now. Uh, maybe I should consider with the higher settings also and see how it is. Maybe it's, it can be another video where showcasing different uh, settings and then how how well it is performing. So, but overall, the game is very responsive and it's it's uh, reacting to my mouse and the keyboard exactly uh, it, it feels native really so yeah i think this this was a good, really good test and give you an understanding about how the performance of geforce now in india and whether you want to purchase a subscription or not it's up to you but i would suggest you to try one day pack it's not that great option but still you can try it out and see how your broadband is performing and then you can take a decision on that one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so please uh, make sure that you you like this video and also uh, you comment whatever you feel in the comment section and also subscribe to my channel see you soon in another one thanks for watching